Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today's video is not much of a review, but I would like to instigate discussion. And the discussion would be about petrol, diesel and electric vehicles. I know it's a bit controversial subject and I would like to bring my point across with what my thoughts are and I would like you, my audience, to help me out with what you think about the next logical step. So, from my previous videos, or you may actually don't know, I've got a Kia, Kia Serata, uh, which is a GT version. It's turbocharged 1.6 liter engine. I enjoy this car immensely. Why do I enjoy it? let's actually follow this through so the car price is right it's not expensive it's not cheap the price is extremely great the quality of the vehicle as a build and finish and how it drives is phenomenal i think i never had a, a car that was behaving in that way yes it's not perfect but what i'm trying to say for the price point is amazing seven years warranty in australia is another big ticket item for me so um, with seven years warranty however car is um, you covered you covered for whatever comes uh, uh, to you like from um, i guess false perspective from maintenance perspective and let's talk about maintenance uh, that's the item that i'm slightly unhappy with but um, I guess every turbocharged engine requires more maintenance. So uh, the schedule is every year or 10,000 kilometers that's basically coming very fast. So I'm driving approximately 12 to 14,000 kilometers a year. So I have to do more than one service a year. And services are not uh, cheap, they're not expensive, but it's all like that. So I've got a 2021 version of Kia that manufactured in 2020. Uh, it was due to refresh, so I got the right price. And also it doesn't have all the features of new Kia Serata, which would be a sunroof and different um, logo branding and other things. So essentially it's the same car without sunroof. And it was three or four thousand dollars cheaper. Now, um, this guy is two and a half years old, did not skip a bit. I love it, as I say, I, I don't race it, but I drive it pretty hard because I love it. I love the way it responds uh, to acceleration, to braking, to steering. I love the stereo, I love everything about it. Now, um, my partner, has a Kia, which is Kia e Nira that currently sells as Kia Nira Electric. And I don't know what to think anymore of what I would like next. So the driving electric car, if you never driven one, you may form your opinion of whether it's good or bad. You know, that's only an opinion, but we are sensory driven uh, creatures. And the sensation that you got from driving an electric car is nothing like driving petrol and diesel. I've driven so many cars in my life, nothing compares to driving an electric car. It doesn't mean it's better, it doesn't mean it's worse. It's just so different that I start craving one. Craving in many senses. The first one is uh, economy of driving an electric car. Many people are talking about free charge and all of that. Let's put that aside. Let's say you don't have free charging. You may have seen my latest video about uh, energy prices and electricity in 2022. If not, I'll put the link video above in the card. Uh, basically, feed-in tariffs plunged. They were 25 cents and 20 and 15. Now, most of the companies providing you with 5 cents feed-in tariff. And I'm thinking, well, instead of giving electricity away for free, I could charge my electric car and never refuel again. It's not quite free, 
but I feel like giving a uh, five cents uh, fit in tariff to my electricity company that's basically a gift that I never wanted to give them now uh, I don't want to go to petrol station anymore I think out of all things of this car I don't like doing servicing and I don't like going to petrol station I love how it drives and everything but two of the things I don't like doing you still need with Kia you still need to go and do services with electric car actually I don't know why but let's assume they need to make money in some way but you don't need to go I would not need to go to um, petrol station anymore and that's a big advantage for me now let's talk about driving you cannot drive electric car unless it's a purposely made uh, sport electric car which is center of gravity different and all of that Kia in era is um, I think retrofitted um, like Hyundai Kona and Kia Nira with electric components which is you know done nicely well but you cannot corner that car and that car is 500 kilos I think more in weight than a petrol car so when you're driving it drives nicely and everything but it's by no means you should be racing or cornering it whatever however um, all instruments that help me to drive this car is um, you know active cruise control and just the whole car management in electric car done so much better because there's no gearing the moment you put car in active cruise control it just maintains the speed and instead of braking it regenerates the power the torque and power are almost in the same curve so when you accelerate in it accelerates extremely well um, I think considering this is a sport car and the other one just a family car they accelerate almost the same but acceleration electric car is um, fascinating um, I cannot even begin to describe sensation of it and it's silent I do like uh, a revving engine and everything like that but I could you know I could be without it for sure so my question is um, uh, how do I ask that question? It's a strange question. What, like if I would buy next car, if you would be in my place, having a um, Kia or something like similar to this uh, as your daily driver and you need to think about next car. The way I start thinking about it, to cover all expenses that electric car incurs as an upfront payment because they're more expensive and considering all the petrol and servicing of the normal uh, car like that the difference uh, tolerable difference to break even should be up to fifteen thousand dollars so you know if you haggle well um, let, let's focus on two kind of different but identical cars in, in um, I guess at the level so Kia Serata GT cost thirty seven thirty eight thousand dollars in Australia if you bargain well you may get it for 35 uh, let's assume 35 as a, as a round number it's easy to make calculations if you're driving at 100,000 kilometers i spend around fifteen thousand dollars on petrol here plus services cost more so to round it up if i would get electric car to break even it should cost fifty thousand dollars or less so kia in europe costs 70. as you can see um it's not uh, from money perspective it's not a uh, good value proposition but i'm thinking about mg um, that has uh, i think mg Z, zs3 uh, mg4 coming soon there's a byd Atta, uh even cheaper version of hyundai and kia not too bad so my question is what would you do would you would you stick with really good quality proven modern cars with seven five ten years warranty whatever it is or you would go electric and trying to um, see life in a little bit different perspective now interesting point is uh, the only thing that would really push me now into getting into electric cars it's v2l technology V2 is uh, abbreviates to vehicle to load. That means um, ideally all that power that I sell for cheap to my uh, energy provider, I would store in a battery or something like that. So electric car may actually act as a capacitor 
when you when electricity is cheap or abandoned or come from solar for free you charge in car and then it's connected to the house so vehicle to load load means it's your house um, and when you need that electricity or power outage your car would become battery on wheels that supplying electricity to home and many cars now offering that option however electricity company is not quite interested in that kind of because they're gonna uh, miss out and lose financially so they're not embracing the technology so if today uh, one of the local electricity companies in my case in Queensland where I live it's Energex would say you know what we uh, help you with a vehicle to load and your vehicle would uh, support this that would push me definitely to adopt electric car and the reason is that because the battery cost good battery like um, uh, LG cam or Tesla Powerwall or things like cost around um, fifteen thousand dollars and that battery would be between 10 to 15 kilowatts the car battery is definitely more than 40 kilowatts you got more power stored in a car battery that you can utilize not only for driving you can utilize for power outages for emergencies for um, supporting your uh, solar system maybe in the future even trading peer-to-peer -peer electricity to your neighbors and, and, and friends and things like that so my question is is it too early for electric cars what would you do would be in my position because I like planning so in four three four years time I may need a new car so would you think sticking with petrol or diesel and ride the wave of cheap car expensive fuel or you would buy now or wait for a couple of years for electric car and think how it integrates in your house in your life and you know probably deprive yourself from that experience going to petrol station and sniffing all that um, nasty chemicals so uh, it's for the first time I'm not reviewing anything I'm asking viewers for opinion however if you would like me to review that Kia in Europe that my partner drives I'm more than happy to do so I really enjoy this car and uh, I just cannot justify it for now maybe because I've got my car only for two and a half years but if I would be in the market today, I would definitely consider one of those. If that push of vehicle to load would be a little bit, um, I guess, more advanced. So I leave you with it. And thank you so much for uh, instigating the discussion. Uh, please put all the comments down below. Um, and I'll try to answer all of them because all of your opinions are important to me. I know some people lock into Teslas. To me, electric cars are not Teslas. I'm really grateful that Tesla pushed the technology and uh, availability for other manufacturers to catch up and do wonderful things. But when I'm referring to electric cars, I'm not necessarily referring to Tesla. There are so many now in the market that they uh, competing with Tesla quite nicely and you know let's be honest um, some people just like to go to dealership and get service you know if you've got Tesla however great vehicle it is and I've got no opinion about this uh, I still probably would like to go to local um, dealership and discuss uh, any issues that I've got with my car anyhow uh, thank you so much for being part of this discussion um, and if you'd like me to review Kia in Euro, let me know down comments below as well. For now, goodbye, and uh, I'm waiting for your comments. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time, thank you for watching.